So right here, we just updated a QR code and uh, it brought us back to the index page. You see, displaying a message. No, what we need, what it needs to do is to bring us back to the page displaying this uh, QR code. So, but first of all, we need to make this a link so that people can click on it and then open. So we're going to go to the index page. For, for now, the only way to open this QR code, each of these QR code is to click on this link. So if I click on this, it's opening. So it opens this page. So this is the page we wanted to open after we have edited. Every time we edit a page, it should open the view or show page. So if we get back to our code and we start track scheme, uh, we can go to the resources and go to views and go to QR codes and um, well not really we, we go to controllers controller we go to QR code and we're looking for the the action that helps with editing or updating it's called update so this is show this is edit this one this this action just displays the the page for the edit but after edit when you click submit this is the action that processes this as you can see after processing it what does it do it goes to the index page no we need it to go to the show page and when it's going it should go with this qr code so we're gonna do comma block bracket qr code and then fat arrow qr code so this is just what we need and then if we edit again just make sure you save if we edit go to qr codes we click on this qr codes and then we edit click on edit for instance we did this one we're going to change it from 14 dollars to 15 dollars click save it brings us to this page beautiful beautiful this is just awesome the next thing we want to do is to make it a link so that um, this is not the only thing you can click to view this product and i want to rearrange this i want the product name to be here while the website name is here um, We'll go here of course we'll go to our resources views qr codes we're looking at the tables so in the tables what we're seeing is that the product name website name is before the product name we will copy it and put it above product name above same thing here we'll put the product name above the website name then the next thing we're going to do is to make the, the product name a link so to make it a link it's simple html where we'll put a href uh, a a tag a href and then we close it and then we close the a tag here the anchor tag now we're good now we're good we need to put something here so but if we look if you look at this place you see that this this button is already a link look at this bottom part of the screen keep your eye you see that it's a link this is a link as i move my mouse it's changing so we're just going to copy the link that was added there simple it is here in show so if you look at this ahref, you see ahref contains something, we're going to just copy it. Instead of writing our own from scratch, once we copy it, we can then paste it here. And works perfectly. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so now we have it, we can go test, reload. So what are we saying? It has um, rearranged and somebody can now click this. We can make it bold, for instance uh to make it bold i can all right so we can put it inside a b tag and uh, a b tag other things we can do is text info we can add a class class and um, just to say text info and we're good just to free uh, make it look a little cuter all right beautiful beautiful so we now have everything we want and uh, somebody can just click on any of this for instance it brings them to this page so in the subsequent pages or uh, videos we're gonna clean up this page and make this um, display the QR code path and everything thank you very much see you